Where is he? Oh, he's gonna spawn over here. Come on with it, big boy. Come on with it. What you got? What you got? You ain't nothing but a hound dog, baby. Getting slayed all the time. What's up? What's down? What is all around? What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Groovy Grizzly, back with another video. And today we're back to playing some Valheim. We went ahead and started working on a few couple little projects. So I went ahead and made this fence here that kind of goes all the way around. This area here in the back is gonna be the farming area. This area over here for now is gonna be the pig pen. I have them tightened up over here because anytime they kind of roam this way, the fire scares them. So they start running around everywhere, start going crazy. So block them in just like that to keep it from happening. And then this right here is gonna be the farming area. Once I get some seeds, this is where we're gonna be planting some farms. Made a little bit of changes, added a little stone pile there. Uh, I added this here. A little bit i did go exploring for a hot second because i went to kill acting here just like you seen in the beginning of the video where i went to kill him so i could get another trophy and i accidentally ran the opposite direction that i was supposed to run into and i ran into a village oh and i also was attacked which you will get to see later on in this video I'm gonna oh boy time to party getting raided let's go come on come on with it what y'all got what y'all got oh crap oh crap they caught me with my pants down too man we got to kill that guy first because he can heal everyone. Oh. Ooh, it's a lot of them for just me. Switch up the arrows here. Burn, baby, burn. Come on, what you got? What you got, shaman? Almost, almost, almost. Kicking his little candy ass. Come on, let's go. Got him. Okay, now I got to take out the big guy. Oh, I missed on that one. Ah, oh, boy. There's a lot of them. Ugh, too hot to handle, baby. Well, the good thing is at least the arrows aren't being wasted. Because I am hitting someone, at least. At the very least. Come on. Oh, I switched, switched to the other ones. Switching back. Switching back. Another shaman? Little re-dick. All right, they stopped, sort of. Kind of got me a little bit, didn't he? Oh, he does a lot of damage. Oh crap, I might die here. Oh man, I'm in a pickle, Rick. Got him. Got him. God, come on, stagger, you little bitch. Got him. All right, now it's just easy pickings at this point. Got him. So what you get for interrupting me, a little bitch. Show him who daddy is around here. All right, let's see what Huggins has to say real quick. Matos will lay siege to your uh, camp from time to time and strength of arms does not guarantee your victory in these situations. Build a strong defense to weather out the storm. So, yep, we weather out the storm. With these guys, it's pretty simple. You just got to kite them around the map a little bit. Anyways, we're going to go back to building our farm and our pig pen. I hate this part with all my heart. Will you go that way? I understand you're frightened. Go that way. Thank you, you little butthole. All right, I'm probably going to have to close this guy in. Come on. Where are you going? Come on, dude. Will you stop fucking moving around like a little fucking bastard? Here. I hate this. I hate this with all my heart. Alright, come on, piggy. Come on, run that way. That way. No, that way. No, the other way, you little bitch. That way. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, I'm terrified of the fire, but I'm going to run right to where the freaking fire's coming from. Genius. So we got him in here. Unfortunately, they're terrified of fire. So every time he goes over there near that fire, he's going to run around like crazy. For now, though, I think I might just kind of close this off some. Kind of fix this a bit. Will you stop moving? Sir, relax. 
we'll just put that there for now. All right, so our pig farm, pig pen, I should say, is uh, is complete for now. This isn't the final. We're going to change it up later once I get a different type of wood because I plan on making a fence around this instead of half walls. I think that'll work a lot better. So the pig pen and the farm is complete. And then we're gonna go out and we're gonna actually explore the Blackwood Forest. So I did kind of run over here a little bit and went to look at the Blackwood Forest that's right there where that troll cave is. It's extremely tiny. There's literally next to nothing over there. So we're not going over there. We're gonna go out and try to find somewhere else where there's a Blackwood Forest. I can't quite remember exactly where it is. Once we get to the Blackwood Forest, we'll get this thing popping and going. There's a mountain biome right there behind there. And hopefully there's some bones right here. There sure is. It doesn't look like there's much over here. Let's carry on. Carry on. All right, so we found a little opening, actually. Didn't take us very much longer. We were over there, now we're over here. So things that we're looking for. We are looking for blueberries. We're looking for seeds. We're looking for pine wood. Uh, we're gonna gather a little bit of pine wood, not a ton, maybe like a stack of pine wood because we can't carry a ton of weight. Mushrooms, of course, because there's gonna be mushrooms in this biome. We're also looking for caves. Oh, awesome, and we found our first copper vein. So we're gonna go ahead and just go in the copper vein. We're gonna click to where we're at. Oh, we gotta select this first. We're gonna click where we're at and then we're gonna just mark it as copper. Uh, the water is right there. The shore is very close by. Not a big fan of that, but we're gonna roam around this way and we're gonna look for copper. We're gonna look for blueberries. We're not gonna look for ogres or trolls, but he's looking for me apparently. We're gonna be swarmed by a bunch of stuff. Back up, back up, bud. Back up, bud. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, we're kind of in the open now. I don't want to be in that biome with a bunch of other stuff to fight that guy. I think he got... Did he turn around? Uh, he turned around. All right, we're going to go ahead and go kick his butt, though. Let's do it. Come on, you ugly bastard. Where are you at? Oh, maybe I can sneak attack him. Bang, there it is. A little sneak attack. I think I missed that one. Really, bro? Come on, come on. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We can get around here, maybe. Ah, missed. Missed! Swing and a miss. Got him there. Oh boy. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Come on. All right, we're gonna run into these woods here real quick. We have to use our ability so that way he doesn't catch me too much off guard. Really? Oh! Oh, that was close. Oh, man, that scared me. Legit scared me. Made my butt pucker a little bit. Holy cow. My asshole's never closed that much before. Holy cow. Now I have freaking a pig after me, too. Woo! Rolled right on time. Right on time. Right on time. Right on time. Okay, hop over this. Come on. All right, he's confused. Because I'm behind this wood piece here. Come on, you ugly bastard. Fuck off, pig. Ah, dang it. I'm out of stam. Out of stam. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bob and weave, baby. Bob and weave. Let's go. That's not a sneak attack? I thought he was running. I thought he was walking away. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Are you mad, bro? He's about to die. Bang, got him. 
Got him, got him, got him. Awesome. So we're only looking to kill the troll, but hey, it is what it is. Huh. He's eating his booty. Oh, what is this? It looks like a little camp area, maybe? Oh, another copper vein. Let me kill this guy without him spotting me. Let me mark this copper vein here. Good. We have copper around, not too far away from where we're, our base is located, so that's good. Got a little chest there. Swing and a miss, bud. Swing and a miss. Oh, we found some trizzle and some more blueberries. Let's go. Oh, looks like we found some carrot seeds. Yep, carrot seeds. Awesome. So now we can make carrot stew once we get some iron. So that would be really, really good. Oh, it looks like it looks like we found a boss location. Wow, that is extremely close to where we where our base is. This is awesome. All right. And we haven't even found a cave yet. So that's good. So we're going to go ahead and mark this right here. The Elder. Boom. Awesome. So when you find the Elder, which is this little altar here, and you come up to this and you click E on it, it's going to tell you that it wants you to burn its youngins. You see that thing right there on the top? Those are the seeds that those things over there give. So you want to destroy that thing and get the seeds from it to be able to get what you need for it. So let's try to kill this guy from a distance if we can. Nice shot. Let's go. All right, so now we're going to bum rush. Oh, he hit me right in the head. Okay, so we're going to bum rush this right here. So it's not a problem later on. There we go. We also keep spawning over and over again. All right. And then we got one left, one left, one left. Come on, let's go. Let's go hit me. Try to parry. Didn't work as I planned. Let's go. All right, so we have the seed now, which is, where's the seed? Do we not get a seed from that? Oh, it's right here. There you go. So now we have a seed, the ancient seed. We need that right there to be able to throw into this fire. And then that spawns the elder, but we're not gonna do that right now because we're way underprepared. I am, however, gonna kill this deer. Oh, I see a skeleton over here, which usually means that there is a cave of some sort nearby. Yep, right there, there it is. Ooh. Oh man, there's there's a high ranking one right here too. There we go. Got him. All right, so I kind of do want those things, but I'm really really full, so I'm going to have to run back to base and then come back here. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to go ahead and grab these. Go ahead and talk to Huggins here. Some of the judges can be found across the 10th world. They are monuments of the past and most often filled with riches and civilizations long lost. Remember to bring a light source, which uh, I did. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mark this cave here. So we know where it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to have to go back home. So I'm going to have to run north and then come back later because I am way too full of stuff and I need to put some of this stuff away. Ooh, a two star. I got to get this bad boy. Let's go. Oh, got him. All right. So we made it back. We ran all the way back to base. We went and upgraded some of our things real quick. We upgraded the axe. We upgraded our bow. We went and repaired everything. And now we are back to the cave and we're going to go and explore it. See what's popping in here. So we're going to have the axe and the torch out because it's really dark in there. And I know it's very difficult to see. So that way everyone can see what's popping in there. Oh, I forgot to eat before I came in here. Should be okay though. All right, let's see what's in here. So right away, one of the first things I see that's in here right off the bat, other than skeletons, of course, is these little yellow mushrooms, which are a good source of food. I haven't found anything that you use them for as far as crafting, but they're pretty useful. So let's go slay some of these little skeletons real fast. It looks like they're kind of like keeping themselves stuck there.
These crypts can be very, very dangerous. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we cleared them out. So this right here, these are certainly cores. This is what you want to be able to craft. So there you go. Once you pick it up, you learn how to make the smelter and the, the thing that you use to make charcoal with. It's like a little burner, basically. Awesome. The Sertling cores. I can't remember exactly how many you need to craft one, but I believe generally there's... Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. All right. So I'm going to keep the shield out for this one. And got him. So that's... Other, other than um the souped up version of skeletons the little ghost thing is the toughest thing you'll find in here all right we got a bunch of certain cores in here so that's one two and three and i'm gonna go ahead and pull out the torch so we can see everything else so you can find coins in here more bones of course because this is a burial chamber and i think that's it on this wing so now we got to go to the next wing Ooh. got him Oh boy. Bring them out here. Got him. Double explosion, baby. Got him. Got him. A third swing kills him every time, baby. Let's go. Oh, I can see a ghost right there. So we're going to put away that. Oh, that's not a ghost. So this right here is bone piles. You want to smash that as soon as possible, because if you don't, then they'll continue to keep spawning. All right, more goodies. All right, more certainly cores, an amber piece, some coins. And most importantly, this right here, if we didn't find that elder spot, once you find one of these and you click E on it, it tells you exactly where the boss is. So I don't even need that anymore on that, that marker that I put down. So now it just automatically tells me where it is. All right, more goodies. Got him. Got him. Didn't even see it coming. Oh yeah. Ooh, more certainly cores. Beautiful. Ooh, that's a bad boy there. Oh, he got me. Bang, let's go. All right, so we have fully explored the entire cave, killed a couple skeletons, killed a couple ghosts, and most importantly, we found nine circling cores. Generally on, there's usually in, it's, it's different every time, but it's somewhere between six and sometimes I found 12 certain cores. I've double checked, couldn't find any more. So nine is what we got. And I believe nine is enough for us to be able to craft the smithy and the kiln let's see so we need five for five for the kiln and then we need five for the smelter so we don't have enough so we need to find another one so that way we can have enough for it oh another troll cave let's go ahead and grab this there some trizzle my nizzle with all by bizzle let's go Go ahead and get some of this pine wood as well. We got a little bit of carry weight on us. So let's go ahead and grab some of this stuff. All right. So now we learn how to make some new things, some logs. Looks like a hammer of some sort that does... Oh, the hammer does AoE damage. I usually never make the hammer. But it does some AoE damage. So we learn how to make some logs and some spikes so we can make some protection around our home. 
All right, so check it out. I just got back to base. It's a little hard to see, hopefully not too hard, but right here, there are two piggies. So they bred and got two more piggies. Let me pet these two, but they formed two more piggies, which means that we'll have four once they're fully grown, which is awesome. So for you to tame pigs is very simple. You just take some, you just take some berries or any form of food other than meat, like any kind of vegetable or berries, and you just throw it in there, uh, one for each one that you want. And then once two of them eat, they will mate and then you have a baby pretty simple all right so i ran over here to the blackwood forest that's really close to my house the reason why is because they have 10 over here and i'm actually going to go ahead and mine this 10 these 10 deposits so we can gather that so we're going i'm going to show you guys real quick what it looks like whenever you are gathering some metal so that way you can later on turn it into copper and what you're going to need is going to be the tin that i just got and some copper and i believe if i'm not mistaken you guys are annoying as fuck you know that you little bitch get out of here Here's Huggins, talk to him. Raw ores need to be refined in the smelter before you can work in the forge. To build smelters, you will need sterling cores, search for them in dark places beneath the earth, AKA caves. So we gotta go into caves, just like the burial chambers. And that's where we find sterling cores. We already found nine of them, right? We found nine of them, so we can't quite yet smelt anything we don't have any so we already have nine certain cores right but we don't have enough to be able to make the kiln and the smelter so what we're we're gonna do is we're gonna go eventually into a cave and then we'll find the last one that we need so we can make both of them however if you really want to you could put some food into the food cooking sticks thing and that alone will make some coal for you and coal is what you need to be able to smelt the metal but i wouldn't recommend that because then you're just wasting food it's better to just wait until you have all of it that's just my personal opinion okay can you go fucking annoy somebody else please all right, guys, so now we're in the other Blackwood Forest. Uh, we were at the one close to home here where we got those 10. Um, it's completely out of 10 now. We got well over 30. I can't remember exactly how many we got, but we got a good bit of it. Now we're gonna get copper. So we're gonna mine out this copper vein. A lot of times, whenever you're mining for copper, it'll drop stone instead of copper. It is a huge, massive vein, but you get a lot more stone sometimes i feel like than you do copper and what you want to do is you just kind of want to break this big piece of copper deposit apart until it's completely gone one little tip that i am going to give you is once you're done breaking the deposit that is in the surface continue to dig down a little bit with your pickaxe because these copper deposits tend to go down and they go down by a good margin so don't just stop beating down on the copper deposit when you think that it's over because there's nothing else on the surface. Always dig down a little bit because you'll most likely find a lot more at the bottom. If you want to mine out the base of the copper deposit, sometimes all of the copper deposit will break down all at once and it'll save you a lot of time from having to mine it individually. So I'm gonna go ahead and mine out this copper deposit. I'm gonna get it done and then I'm gonna run back to base when it's over and I will be with you guys shortly. Look at this. This is where this copper deposit is. There's a little bit more at the bottom. So this is the entire surface area right here. And then if you go down just a little bit, look at that. And I just dug down all the way to here and I found way more copper. So it's always a good idea to just kind of dig down and try to find some more. All right, guys. So I think we're just going to end the video right Both of our pickaxes are broken. Uh, I've mined a little bit of copper. Mind a little bit of 10, and now we're just gonna run back to base. We're gonna put everything away. But we'll continue on episode number four that will come out hopefully on Tuesday. Plan on making these videos, these Valheim videos, two to three times a week. And I do plan on playing other games. Hey, if you have any suggestions, that, any games that you would like to see me play, put it down in the comment section below. I would love to see what your opinions are, or what your suggestions are on games that I should play. But as always, thank you guys so much for taking the time of your day to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss any more episodes, just make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you're going to the gym, have a kick-ass workout. If you're not going to the gym, have a kick-ass day. And I will see you guys next time in Valheim.